Yo, what's going on guys? Mr. Monchoyo here. And today I'm bringing you guys another pretty beast gameplay. Now before I uh, tell you guys you know what it is and all, I just want to say that uh, I am still kind of sick guys. Uh, you guys should know that as, you know, my fat <clears throat> my sorry, my past few commentaries, you know, have sounded a little bit different just because, you know, like I said my voice is not at its best right now because I am sick. I might actually have strep throat, but it's been getting better in, over like the last few days. So, um, yeah, it's a lot easier to talk now, but, <laughs> and also, I've been coughing a lot, so I'm probably going to cough a few times in the commentary, so, I'm sorry about that, guys, but, um, yeah, I'll speak as clearly as possible, uh, it is a little bit hard to talk, but, you know, anyway, let's get started, uh, talking about the video. So, today's gameplay is a double Moab with the P90, uh, using Specialist, obviously, as well as 101 kills using Specialist, so, um, Pretty nice gameplay, pretty nice gameplay. Um, this should have been a triple Moab. The streak that I'm on right now actually is my uh, Moab fail out of my triple or out of my double Moab. Uh, I do get two Moabs after this streak right here. I go 23 0 right here and then die by a corner camper. You guys will see soon enough. It is really bullshit. I died one off of a triple Moab. And you know how nice that, that would have been an insane gameplay because, you know, a 100 plus game with a triple Moab, you know. I don't know, that would have probably boosted my channel, you know, a lot, but, uh, still, this is a pretty decent gameplay, so I'm happy with it. <clears throat> now, uh, is that right? No, I'm sorry, I don't not, I do not die there. You will see, it. I will point out the spot where I die, or I guess you guys will see, because I do die, but, uh, yeah, it's really bullshit. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to do a full commentary for this video, guys. As you know, it is ten minutes long, and it's really hard to do a commentary for a gameplay, for 10 minutes. I mean, you know, if I had a topic, I, w I could easily do a 10 minute commentary. Hell, I could probably do a 20 minute commentary if I had a topic, but you know, I don't. I'm just going on the fly right now, so yeah, and it, like I said, it's the gameplay. And I do not want to just sit here and talk to you guys, you know, about just the gameplay for the entire time, just, you know, pointing out random stuff, you know, saying I died here, I corner or I got corner camped here, this guy's a noob. Um, but, you know, that makes for a really bad commentary, so. I don't want to do that, so, and right there is where I die, guys. Look at this bitch right here. And actually, I went back in theater mode and watched, and what happened was, uh, I watched like 10 seconds or 20 seconds earlier or whatever, and he had spawned and ran to that corner. He wasn't, you know, like, at low health or on a high kill streak waiting for, you know, some guy to run by like me to get his AC-130 or his Osprey Gunner or possibly even his Moab or whatever. He had spawned and ran right to that corner, and it, it just blows my mind how bad some people can be. And if you guys, or if one of you guys is the guy, if one of you guys watching this is the guy that corner camps, just please stop. It is, it is annoying as hell, and you will not get a, a good kill streak by corner camping. You, if you want to find out how to build a kill streak, you can watch my uh, controlling the map series, which is on JRG Gaming Network, which uh, I I I try and mention it every single video, but I sometimes forget. For some of you guys that are probably just found this video while you know searching through uh, Modern Warfare Three videos or whatever and aren't subscribed to me. Pretty much, it's a channel that I kind of started, but it's a uh, it's a hub channel with a bunch of my friends. Uh, one of them being a Machinima respawn director. Uh, sorry, a Machinima respawn director. I don't even know why I paused there, but um, yeah. Uh, his gamer tag is JV2017. His YouTube's JV2017 Gameplay. Uh, MRM Horns is another member. Prez of HP, and uh, we all upload to that one channel, and we each have our own series that we upload to that channel exclusively. Uh, one of them is controlling the map, where I teach you guys how to build a high kill streak. So, if you want to learn how to build a kill streak the proper way, by not you know being Dark Corner McDougal as Wicked Shrapnel would say, then uh, go check out JRG Gaming Network. Like I said, I'll throw the link to the channel in the description for you guys. It's an awesome channel. I would really highly suggest you guys check it out. And uh, yeah, so I guess onto the gameplay. Even though I've already told you guys what it is, I can throw out some tips for you guys. A lot of my long type subs already know tips for this map. And if you guys are subscribed to JRG Gaming Network, then you guys would have seen Tips, Tricks, and Spots, which is my second series for uh, the map Baccarat, which was uploaded last week. So you guys already know some tips about this map. But um, uh, for you guys that aren't, or maybe just missed that video for some reason, not sure why you would, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so for Domination, uh, which is the main game type you want to play if you want to get a high kill streak, the reason is, well, I mean, Obviously, a lot of you guys probably p played Team Deathmatch. I mean, that's the most played game type. And the reason it is is because, one, it's simple, and, two, it's at the very top of the playlist. You know, r when you go to click, you know, find game, 
and you have all the lists of the game types. Team Deathmatch is the very first one up there. And when you actually, you know, get the game and you're n not any level, it's a game type that's unlocked for you. How or at well, when other game types like Domination aren't unlocked. So a lot of people that are new to Call of Duty just, you know, keep on playing Team Deathmatch. And uh, if you want to build a high kill streak and stuff and do well, you do not want to play Team Deathmatch just because the game type is based off of only getting kills. So the game ends the the more kill like the you know every kill you get the game is coming a little bit closer to ending. However, in Domination, the oh and there I pick up uh, there I pick up my first Moab. But anyway, like I said, however in Domination, the game score is not based off of kills. It's based off of points that you earn from capturing flags. So you can get a bajillion kills. I don't even think bajillion's a number, but you know whatever everybody says it. So you can get a bajillion kills and the game will not end. So that is a uh, really smart move if you want to get a high kill streak, guys, or do well, is uh, play Domination. I mean, I guess you could do Kill Confirmed also, but, you know, some Kill Confirmed lobbies, people cap or uh, capture uh, dog tags like in, like crazy, so the game ends really fast. However, in Domination, it it's pretty much a consistent time span of about 10 minutes. Each game is roughly 10 minutes, give or take, you know, 20 seconds depending on how many flags each team owns and that kind of stuff so yeah but um what was I gonna say guys I'm sorry I just kinda blanked out um oh yeah for domination now for this map there are obviously three flags like every map for domination for you guys that don't play it there's three flags you capture a flag and you own that flag and that's how you gain points now you can hold all three flags but the game ends way too fast that way and it's pointless because the enemy spawns everywhere like in team deathmatch but when you hold say you know A and B and you have them at C the enemy spawns at C uh, for the game or for the entire game as long as they hold that flag unless you got people that push into the flag area that they own too far and then the game stops spawning them there and spawns them on the other side of the map which would be at A which is your spawn so you really don't want to avoid pushing into their spawn too far but when you're like me and you're trying to build a high kill streak in domination you want to run around constantly which may involve you getting into the enemy spawn just because uh, like I said in my control in the map series for you guys that have watched it you know I say con control a certain area of the map and that'll help you get your Moab that is for probably getting you know one Moab uh, if you're just planning on getting a sing single Moab but if you're going for a double Moab or a triple Moab or a hundred plus you are not going to get enough traffic by trying to hold down an area of the map. You're going to have to run around trying to find people and staying out of sight. Because controlling the map, obviously, like I said, you know it's good for building one kill streak just because it, it gives you a you know a certain amount of traffic. But also, the enemy can catch on to what you're doing. And if you're going for a double or triple Moab and you try and control the same area the entire game, I guarantee you you're going to end up dying once. So. What you want to do is constantly rotate around the map between flags, whether it's your flag or the enemy flag. Just uh, one good tip, though, is stay away from your teammates because obviously, if the enemy is you know spawning in your teammates, then obviously the game is messed up. But you know that does not happen. Uh, the enemy always spawns pretty much on the opposite side of the map from your teammates. So stay away from your teammates. Uh, you will find more enemies by doing that. But also, your teammates. Uh, when you have specialist, obviously you get every single perk in the game, so you have blind eye and assassin. But you know, if a teammate doesn't have blind eye or an assassin and a UAV is called in, they're going to see your teammates, and if you're in the general area of them, you're going to end up getting caught as well. And also, if you don't have blind eye on, or if you have blind eye on your teammates don't, and there's a pred that gets called in and you're near one of your teammates, you're going to end up probably dying because they'll go for your teammate, and uh, they'll end up blowing you up in the process as well. So you really do want to avoid that. But uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys, for tips. Uh, I do die right here. And then, oh yeah, one thing. Uh, I did. I think I had 94 kills right here or something, and I was rushing to get those last six kills so I could end up getting the 100 plus. You know, I really want to get the 100 plus. This is actually my first 100 plus uh, using specialist. But also, I've never really tried for it. This is one of the first games I actually tried, or not one of the first games. But today, when I got this gameplay, it was the first day I really went, sat down, and went try hard for the 100 plus specialist, and I was able to pull it out. So. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm going to end up uh, probably doing this in the future because it was really fun. And then, uh, yeah. But like I said, I think that's all the tips I could give you guys for this map. Uh, that's uh, there, Or that was pretty much, you know, a uh, or each map does have a limited amount. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure what I'm saying. But, um, yeah. 
I really ran out of topic, guys. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I could do the full commentary, so I'm sorry. Or I'm sorry if I'm kind of just sitting here going, uh, uh, uh. It is really difficult to do a ten and a half minute commentary or, or however long this gameplay is, uh, just for gameplays. But I guess I'll do my outro, guys. Now, if you did like this gameplay, you can subscribe to my channel. I offer more gameplays like this. Uh, I also have a Twitter. The link will be in the description for you guys. You can follow me. I will usually tweet out uh, when I get a gameplay. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see ya.